Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian and I am back in Jasper, Georgia at Revel Aero to give you an update on the X Project aircraft and something else in the works you're going to want to stick around for. Coming up right now. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. Twenty-five years ago, I had a vision. Not just any aircraft. You see, I like to go fast. Really fast. Now, my vision has become a reality. It's about damn time to race. Okay, we're back here in um, Jasper, Georgia with Jeff. It was just a few short months ago that I was here and you guys have made just a massive amount of uh, progress. So you just tell us just a little bit what's happened since last I visited you guys. All right, well, when you were here last, Brian, we were getting ready to display at Oshkosh. Uh, it kind of fell on us uh, by surprise then to get ready uh, offers to to help us get up there and put the airplane on display, share a booth space with the good folks at the D-Motor booth. Uh, so we went through a mad dash getting ready and, and got up there and uh, had a very wonderful turnout. Lots of encouragement, lots of interest and excitement over the airplane. And uh, like the surprise prior to Oshkosh, um, we got a big surprise at, um, at Oshkosh in that we've been uh, requested to bring the airplane out to the Reno Air Races to put it on display and help promote a new affordable mini jet racing class that's being considered and form formatted. So you ask what we've been doing since we you were here last. We've been scrambling. We built a set of mock-up wings, a set of mock-up uh, vertical stabs, although they will likely be used as patterns for pulling the production tooling for the, you know, for the production exercise. We built a mock-up uh, canard for the front so basically what we were trying to do is create the entire airplane in, in full form so that people can really get a good appreciation for the aesthetics and the size and the, uh, the suitability for this new class that's being considered. And now that we can actually see this thing in the flesh and has literally jumped off the page, uh, if you could just review again the dimensions of this, what is the physical size? Sure. All the surfaces that were built are accurate to, to what the real airplane will be. So our wingspan is 18 feet. It comes in three six-foot modules. The fuselage is six feet wide. Each wing panel is six feet. The airplane was designed to be trailerable, just as a side note, uh, legally trailerable. So our overall length is 15 feet. Our canard span is nine feet. And our vertical height is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, five foot eight. So it fits within your normal car hauler type trailer, enclosed trailer, or it'll fit in an open trailer, obviously, easily as well. Get a couple of them in our normal T-hanger, obviously, too. Uh, we were able to, uh, John was able to weld up and, and, uh, and uh, impart his wizard, metal wizardry. So we got a real motor mount welded up with a, uh, the casing of the actual engine we will be using, the AMT Lynx. So this is just an engine casing that was sent to us for test, or, or rather fitment, uh, in building the motor mount, designing the cowling, the induction uh, of plenum, if you will, intake plenum duct. So it's pretty representative of uh, what the production installation would look like, short of all the wiring, plumbing, control units, uh, ECM, engine control uh, module. But uh, the fuselage is real. Um, what you see here will be a flying article, hopefully before or by the end of the year. And uh, we're 
still unsure which direction we'll be able to travel power plant wise for that whether we go with a piston engine or test fly it with the uh, with the turbine so only time and availability with regard to the engines will, will determine that but we've got the full cockpit laid out in it which i'm not sure you saw in the last video and uh crafted up you know some upholstered cushions something pretty representative of what what could be done everybody who sat in at oshkosh uh, felt it was extremely comfortable, loved the feel of it, loved the look of it with the trick honeycomb pattern. We've got a working uh, panel loaned to us from MGL. Again, Jeff, now that we can see this in the flesh, uh, if you could review just what is, is involved with the control surfaces on this particular aircraft. Sure. I haven't had the time yet, but they will be demarked for the show with, with uh, eighth inch striping tape. So naturally it'll be set up like most normal airplanes, if you will, rudders, elevators, and ailerons. However, in this case, our elevators reside up front on the canard or foreplane. Our rudders will be obviously on the vertical stabs somewhere in about this area. Okay, that will be hinged. They'll be coupled together, which is different from all the other canards. Both rudders move in both directions, or what are referred to as balanced rudders, and they're coupled together. So we have a much higher crosswind component than the normal canards are able to, uh, to withstand. And we also have uh, more maneuverability and aerobatic capability because the rudders being displaced from the wing tips do not affect the lift characteristics of the wing when you kick them like they do on all the rutan format canards. So you should be able to knife edge this airplane, point roll this airplane. Um, should be a very nimble, fun, fun little package. Um, you know, our goal, as obviously as the lead-in mentioned, is uh, to promote uh, a racing class with this. And I uh, pitched the idea to the, the folks at the Reno booth at Oshkosh two years ago. Um, and this year, the uh, actual soon-to-be Airboss came into the booth, saw the airplane, got excited, and, and one thing led to another, and that's where we're here tonight. Uh, real, real quickly, what is exactly that Pepe class, or what is, is in the works of, you okay. know, if you could define that sure. class for us? Okay, this new class presently is being tailored around, obviously, existing or soon-to-be existing airframes. Um, there will be a spec uh, drawn up uh, at some point. Um, right now, what exists is kind of driving the spec uh, format or, or, or set of regulations uh, as they as it comes into being. So the intent, as I understand it now, uh, the, the, the contact for this, the fellow who's leading up the formation of this class is a fellow, Pete Zacagnino, well-known jet racer. I believe he still holds the record for the jet racing class at Reno at 500 plus miles an hour. Very good guy, very good pilot. Um, but right now we have available for this class, this soon to be available, and the Subsonics, which was uh, campaigned out there last year for demo flight or demo heats, to uh, to portray the prospect, the potential of the of the class to the racers when they were attending the, the PRS, the Pylon Racing School, which which is uh, just before Reno to get everybody honed in and ready to go racing in September. So. Everybody, I guess, uh, no, I shouldn't say I guess, uh, there was a fair amount of interest shown, but right now at that point, or right then at that point in time, forgive me, uh, there was only one airplane available, the Subsonics. So now there's a second article out there. I would like to say that this looks a little more race worthy, but that's a designer's <laughs> opinion, not necessarily objective, but uh, it is sexier. <laughs> anyway, okay. this is uh, going to be tailored around Initially, obviously, uh, the PBS Velka Bite uh, engine out of Czechoslovakia, the TJ100. But we've got a new entry into the field in the form of the AMT Lynx, which you'll see the casing uh, mock-up engine mounted in the back of here. And that's an engine out of the Netherlands that uh, puts out uh, a little over 100 more pounds of thrust in the same basic sized pa and weight package. So that's what the idea behind the class is. Um, make it affordable. These engines are in the fifty to sixty thousand dollar range. Airplane kits are in the forty to fifty range as, as fast build uh, formatted kits. So a guy can put together a three hundred plus mile an hour jet, go racing for comfortably under two hundred thousand um, dollars, and maintain it extremely cheaply. I mean, you can buy ex-military uh, surplus Russian hardware L39s L29s 
and go racing cheaper in the case of the L29. They're, they're I think, sub 100,000 still to buy a flying article. But God forbid something breaks and you have to maintain it. And they also burn 200 plus gallons an hour in fuel, where these guys will be down around 50, 55 gallons an hour. So it's a jet racing class, if you will, for the common man. You're going to be going next week out to the Reno Air Races. Where on the field will you be located if somebody wants to see you in person? Sure. We will be parked um, alongside the subsonics, as a matter of fact, so you'll get a, the ability to see both airplanes firsthand, side by side. We'll be parked um, and displayed in Pete Zacagnino's personal race tent in the jet pits. So come see us. We'd love to talk to you and tell you more about the, uh, the airplane and let Pete uh, tell you more about the, the intent of the class. So uh, come, by and, come by and visit. Wow, so lots of exciting stuff going on over at Revel Aero and uh, their X project. So remember guys, you can go out to Reno and uh, check them out there. They'll have a booth to um, display the uh, X project, ask all the questions you need, and uh, hopefully next year there's going to be maybe, maybe a new class of racing happening out there at Reno. I invite you guys to check out wixaircraft.com for your uh, aviation needs and building aircraft. Of course, they supply all kinds of different supplies and tools, uh, even for composites. Uh, they have all kinds of books. Uh, they sell the, the fabrics and everything you need to work on uh, even composite aircraft. So check out wixaircraft.com. If this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you right now to subscribe and hit the like button. Hit the like button right now on this video. The little bell symbol gives you notification for future videos. Thank you all so much for helping me build this channel and reaching more people to spread the word about experimental, light sport, and ultralight aircraft construction. I'll see you guys in the next videos.